I'm in my 32nd year here in Waltham, um, and the drug problem is getting much worse. They're rolling the dice every time they try what they think is heroin, because more and more it's fentanyl, and that's what's killing them. The potency of the fentanyl and the fact that we aren't getting there quick enough. So for 2016, there had been 16 overdose fatalities recorded by the state here in Waltham. 2017, we started recording our calls for service. We had 74 overdose calls, 13 of which were fatal. We're not going to arrest somebody when they're down on the ground in an overdose. Our job is to treat them. Our job is to save lives. People who are abusing opioids know how scary it is right now. They're not able to stop. It's heartbreaking for not only the families, but the first responders to go and see a mother or father crying. Uh, trying to do CPR on your own child. Sometimes families try to keep it in-house rather than look outside for resources. It's very difficult for families to stay healthy when you have somebody who's in active addiction. So our hope is that we will be able to help make the family healthier so then they can help get the loved one healthier. We have resources out there. We channel it through Megan in the health department and then Megan has this wide network through Project Outreach to get the people help. So Sergeant Brooks and I are going to be trained, uh, going to a train the trainer conference. So we will be able to train folks on how to administer Narcan. Our hope is that we'll be able to reach out to community members who overdose, family members of loved ones that have overdosed, and we'd be able to provide a one-on-one -on -one Narcan training. It's very re rewarding when we are able to give people a second chance on life, or well, they're giving themselves a second chance on life. We're just helping to point them in the right direction.